Hello everyone and welcome to Forza Horizon 5 for a very interesting video in which we will be comparing some of the liveries on cars we bought in our time. So basically, the auction house has a bunch of weird liveries on some very weird cars. So we thought we'd go through some of them and rank them. Welcome, one and all, to the Big Face Supra. Uh, through glass Bell games is back. Right, well, I know what my car looks like. It's interesting to say the least. It's... And has a huge face on the bonnet. It's amazing. Oh, wow. Yes, but I haven't seen that sticker yet. Drift King. Mine has many things on it, including a Fortnite llama. Has a Fortnite llama? Oh, so it does. Your car. I'm going to give a 4 on inappropriateness, a 7.25 on quality, and a 6.4 on Fort's communityness. I'm going to give the inappropriateness a 3 because it's, well, it's just a llama, really, isn't it? Well, that's inappropriate. <laughs> well, no, that's why I only gave it 3. Quality's a 7 because it's, well, reasonably good, and also communityness an 8 because it has a Fortnite llama on it. What about the Supra? I gave it a 6 on inappropriateness, considering, well, the lady isn't wearing very many clothes. The, a 6 on quality, because it's quite good. And a 7.6 on Forza communityness, considering it's got some very traditional Forza stickers. It's got an anime girl, it's got a hooligan sticker, and a few other stickers that you see. Oh, it's also got a YouTube channel on it. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to rate it quite similarly for inappropriateness. I'm going to give it a 7. And I'm going to give it a 6 for quality, like you did. It's reasonably well made. And a 7 for Forza Communitas. So we should say, right? Supra. I, oh, yeah, the Supra fact also gives it a bit of an edge. Forza have a big face on the front. I don't know. I don't know if it adds or subtracts from quality. <laughs> No, Moving it's on. It's scary, really. <laughs> Moving on to the next pairing. So, I don't know. I think that's just my computer uh, because I can't have high quality and record at the same time. So I don't, can't really get. But quite, it's not that hard a paint job to look at it. It seems very, fairly easy. So it's going to get marked down on quality. However, so is mine. Let's be honest. So I'm going to want to start with mine or yours. Yeah, let's begin with the Susco. What did he give it? I gave it a 1 for inappropriateness, because it's just kind of, well, among us things. Same. A 6 for quality, because, well, it's amazing. I gave it a 5 for but not quite amazing enough. <laughs> and 7 for falls of communityness, because among us. Again, same. Now, what about a big pink thing? I mean, it has anime people on it. So, for inappropriateness, I've given it a four. <laughs> but no more than that, because it's not quite like some of the things you've shown us. <laughs> so did I. I also gave it a four on inappropriateness. Also on quality, a four. Me too. It's not well made. And six for communityness, because, well, look at it. Yeah. It's pink and has anime girls on it. I gave it a 5.5 .5 because it doesn't have enough Hoonigan stickers. What is that wing? Anyway, I'm gonna begin with have... yours. It's a it, it's, yes. It's a very I don't know. It's a very <laughs> fort delivery, I must say. Oh, I like those. I don't like the rims. All the I don't like what you've done to my favourite car. However, the paint job. Part of me actually quite likes it. I like the blue and pink. Well, good point. I've got blue and pink on every single one of my race cars. <laughs> Mine. Um, well, that's not many clothes. So why has it got a, a Japanese letter with a tail? And what is uh, an Itasha society? That sounds dangerous. Street glow. Scorpion. You have good smile racing. Exactly. And blue hair. I've got purple hair. Maybe we're in, maybe maybe we should swap cars. Mine's more of a purple petrol. Yours is more of a fail games blue and pink. I don't know. I'll start with the Le uh, with Lex. Um, I gave it an eight point five on inappropriateness for obvious reasons. So did I. I gave it an 8 on quality, 
So I I'm... gave it seven because I've seen better. Yeah, but I like I like the transitions. I think that the, or, or like the fade effects and stuff like that. Like this is uh, it's done really well. The top of the rear bumper. Right, I'm turning that to a seven. Can we make it around three of same opinions? No, we can't. Because I bet you didn't go over the 7.8 for Fort's communityness. No, I rounded it up to an 8. Right. I gave that an inappropriateness of 7. Oh, so did I. A quality... Agreeing on all of these. Yeah, yeah, it's not very good. A quality of 8. Oh, no, again, I've gone for 7. Although it... Hmm. It does hmm. have some shiny bits. I like the shiny bits. I don't think it's quite worth an eight. I like the shiny bits. And Forza communityness of nine. It's shiny, has good smile racing, has scantily clad women, blue hair, much pink, and a horrible lip on the spoiler instead of a spoiler. Which is why I thought Forza communityness was worth an eight. What did I give it? I've already forgotten. A nine. A nine. <laughs> Meaning it loses out by 0.8 on the total score to the next um... But it's still second overall. Yeah. But let's see for how much longer as we come into the final pairing. One of these has a legendary figure on it. The other is legendary. And we have a Honda. Now... It's a good start. That's a person of much controversy in the recent months. Whereas my... N um, basically in Forza Horizon 3 it was, I had to basically censor an entire video I'm because we weren't slightly quite... further away for these two. <laughs> it wasn't quite clear whether or not there was actual problems with this livery. So we had to basically... I had it pixelated for the entire challenge video. I just drove far away from it. Appropriateness, 9.5, because of all the effort it made me put into a editing. Yes, I've given it a 9, which is the highest score I've given that category so far. Quality, where this is also the highest score so far, with a 7.5. Actually, it's well not, it's made. the second highest. It's a 7.5. It's the I highest I've given it, a 8. I would have given it more, but I don't like the white backgrounds on these stickers. Oh, oh, oh. Forza Communityness, 8.5. I mean... I've given it a 9 for that. What's more? Eight? It's also got good smile, company. I'm going to have to give it a 9. But I'm also going to reduce my quality rating to a 7 because of those stickers. Which means we end up with a total score, which is higher than anything we've seen so far, which I guess was kind of to be expected, of... 51. Got our first 50s. And moving on to... Mm, yes. Yes, what should we call this? I don't know, I called it the Italian Parliament car. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> That's a good enough name. It gave it an inappropriate level, because of the Italian Parliament, of 8.6. Yeah, I gave it 7. Mostly because I just looked at your car. <laughs> <laughs> On quality, I gave it a 7.5, because it's quite good. Yeah, I gave it a 7. It is reasonably well made. So basically, both of these are the same good quality, we say. Which, yeah, they, they are. I think that's fair. And on Forza Communityness, again, because of the Italian Parliament, I'm going to have to give it a... Oh, why did I zoom in? A 9. Whereas I've only given it 7. Ooh. Because it's much less communityness than yours. Means we have a final standing. Oh, wait, we don't. We don't, actually. Because I would like to present a car that I believe is perfection. What do you think? I have given this car an inappropriate never an in inappropriateness level of zero. A fault to community rating of three. However, a quality of eleven out of ten. Wow. Given it on inappropriateness. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give it a zero. Because Greg's is never inappropriate. It's always the right choice. Forza communityness? I've got to give it a 10 for that, because I mean, what other community would come up with something this amazing? Well, the British community, I don't think the Forza community had much to do with it. That's a good point. 
Moving on to quality. Out of 10, what did you give it? I'm, I'm going to have to give it a 9. It's almost perfect. Oh. Actually, I'm going to have to remove a point because the sausage and roll, the spacing between sausage and roll is off. I don't like it. It can't have an 11. We do have a standing. Petrol, would you like to do your Excel wizardry and get a scoreboard? Let me make this work. I think I can make this work. Petrol, would you like to reveal the standings, the scores, the championship leaderboard? Okay, I shall begin. The name and the total points, please. Would you like the lowest scoring car first? Yes. So, we begin with the Susco with a total of 27 points. Weak. We then have the big pink thing beating that by 0.5 with a total of 27.5. Slightly less weak. The Greg's Sausage Roll Perfection scores 33. Not good enough. Not bad. The no. RS3 tonight scores 35.65, putting it slightly ahead of that. And then we have the Big Face Front Supra with 39.6. Front Supra. 39.6 is almost 40, which is what you need to be respected in this realm. Now we're getting on to some of the higher scoring cars. I've just seen we're that three of them are within one point. Within point eight of a point, actually. They are quite close, these next few. The Good Smile Salika has 46 points. And it was only just beaten by the Italian Parliament car with 46.1. What a shame. Would I should you like have given to the reveal more. what came second, which is going to give us our winner? Well, we already know which came second because we've already revealed it about 10 minutes ago. It is... The Lex, we um, with 46.8, which means the Saucy Civic wins the only car scoring over 50 points with 51. We couldn't have had any other conclusion. I mean, look at that. Well, we could well, have had the Greg's. Actually, yeah, don't. I'm just gonna go in, into interior. I'm here. gonna, I'm gonna go this way. 